here we have a Lenovo Mix 3. This is a 10 inch model. It comes with a keyboard. The model I'm using is called a 1030. So we're going to open up and explore the insides. This disassembly is relatively pointless. Opening up doesn't do anything as you can't change anything basically besides battery. But since I am opening me up, I open everything up. So here we go. You're going to need a prying tool. You're going to want to pry. You're going to pry around the edges. Leave the bottom to last, where I'm showing now. Well, the top to your view, as it's the way it comes out. It comes out on the top. Then you remove the bottom. As the bottom, there's the middle adhesive to connect to the metal magnet to connect to the keyboard and that sticks out a bit so you have to take it out from the top you have to slide it out and that's the reason why we leave the bottom to last I just removed it off screen a bit as prying this open is a bit hard to pry on screen So now I've finished prying. So after you get a bit of it open, you can just shove your hand in it and rip it apart. It doesn't break, so don't worry about that. Don't have to fear that. So here we go. This is the battery. Your CPU and RAM's under there. That's your wireless card, non-removable. Non -removable. This here is your wireless card wireless antenna sorry this here is your touchpad cable and that's probably it so now we're going to remove the battery so to remove the battery there's three screws holding the battery down So when you lift up the battery, there's cables attached to it. They put cable management plastic there to manage the cables. So you need to remove those. The wireless card and the daughter board is cables are attached to it. So you need to unroute those before you can remove the battery. You also need to remove the battery cable. Be careful when you remove it. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. This is a pointless disassembly, so do not open up unless you need to change the battery, as it's pointless for you to open up. Nothing can be changed besides the battery. If you need to replace the touch screen or the LCD screen, you can. It's basically removing the whole thing and moving it to the next product. But that's basically it. Thanks for watching.